I'm going to create a main wallet and a self-broadcast wallet on Railway App with these easy steps. Self-broadcast is important because you can't always rely on public broadcasters, even though they usually are smooth. First of all, we want to download the desktop application. To do so, visit railway.xyz and press download. Then select your operating system and proceed with the download. After installing the Railway wallet and creating a password for your wallet, you need to create a name. We'll call it Test Railgun. It's creating our wallet. Then it's going to give us a seed phrase, which you need to safely store to be able to access your funds in the future from other devices or if you lose access to this particular device. Then it's going to give you a private key, which also gives you access to your wallet. And here's your wallet. If we want to shield tokens, first of all, there are several reasons why users could want to shield their tokens and transactions from traders who want to keep their alpha secret and trade freely while protecting their hard-fought informational advantages to lawyers, doctors, and psychologists who are not allowed to reveal that their clients have paid for advice and must protect their identity, payroll services for companies who pay their employees in crypto, censorship resistance for citizens who live in countries with unfriendly or corrupt governments. These are all common use cases, and there are many more. So how do you shield tokens? To shield tokens, you first need to deposit tokens in your newly created railway address. To do so, first make sure you're in public mode. Then press receive and copy your Arbitrum address in this case. But it's the same because it's EVM compatible. We're going with Arbitrum to spend less in gas fees. So we'll send some Ethereum to our address. Once the funds have arrived, simply press shield. Then, as you can see, it asks you for your recipient address, which you can get by going to private mode and copying the address. Or by clicking select and selecting the address directly. Then you insert how much you want to shield. You also have the option to add the shielding fee to the sending address so that the receiver gets the entire input amount. This is for when you don't want the receiving address to pay for the unshielding fees when they receive the funds. So let's add this. Confirm the amount. Insert your password, and then we can proceed. You can check the status of your transaction by going to Activity. So we previously shielded some tokens, some Ethereum, and we must now wait approximately an hour for the private proof of innocence to occur. Private Proofs of Innocence is a private way to keep criminals and bad actors out of the railgun privacy set, and it uses chain analysis and other third-party lists that provide risky wallets and wallets connected to hacks. 
Anyway, while we wait for these other funds, I have another wallet to show you how to unshield tokens. We press unshield. We enter the Ethereum address or the Arbitrum address we want to send the unshielded tokens to. We'll select the new one. So we insert how many tokens we're going to send. We're going to send some tethered, some USDT. Let's send $20. By adding the unshield fee to your input, the recipient address will receive the exact amount entered, charging the 0.25% unshielding fee to the sender. Let's confirm. Insert the password. So we must either self broadcast or public broadcast. And we'll go with self broadcast. I have a pending transaction. So let's see, self broadcast. This one is fine. Generate proof. So basically I had a pending transaction on the other signing wallet. So it was warning me that it would have been queued. Now we can proceed with the unshielding. And our tokens are being unshielded and we can track it in the activity tab. Railway Wallet offers integrated dApps, such as Railway DEX. Railway Wallet offers integrated dApps, such as Railway DEX, which allows you to execute private and public swaps on Ethereum and on other integrated layer 2s. So to do a private swap, first select the asset which you want to swap. We'll swap wrapped Ethereum and swap it for the Railgun Governance token, Rail. Insert your password. Then it gives you an option to self-broadcast or to public broadcast. Self-broadcast allows you to use a wallet you control to sign the transaction, paying the gas fees from your address's balance. Public broadcasting allows you to use a third party public broadcaster to sign a private transaction. The public broadcaster is never getting control or custody of your funds and cannot see any details of the transaction. We will proceed with the self broadcast. Select the wallet which you want to use. And then you simply generate the proof and execute the transaction. Of course, for small amounts of money, it is better to use a layer two, such as Arbitrum. And then finally, you can privately send your assets to another OZK address on Railgun. So to send tokens to another OZK address, simply insert the recipient address here. You can get the address by copying it from here or by selecting it from here. Insert the amount of token you want to send. We'll send 4.8 USDT. Insert your password. And decide if you want to self-broadcast or public broadcast. And here we'll go again with self-broadcast. You can also make an address hidden to the recipient. Of course, your OZK address is always hidden to everybody else. And send the transaction. And as always, you can check the status of your transaction by clicking the activity tab.